Alleged kidnapping and torture stream live on Facebook. A white teenager with special needs tied up and beaten as a group of young African Americans shouting anti white slurs and calling out Donald Trump. Tough stuff to watch. Good morning, everybody. That is where we start as we work through the facts of this story as we get them. I'm Bill Hemmer, and welcome here to America's Newsroom. Hi, Bill. Good morning, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum. So, this shocking story breaking in Chicago, and we want to warn you this video is very disturbing to watch. It shows an 18 year old victim who was tied and gagged. The suspects put a knife to his throat at different points in this video. They make him drink from the toilet. They shout expletives against white people and against the president elect. This torture goes on for more than 30 minutes. Listen. Donald Trump. White people. What? Film. Goof. Yeah. Look at what you have. From Chicago, police have arrested four so far. Matt Finn is live there in the Windy City to begin our coverage. Let's talk about charges. Matt, when will they be filed? Bill, police tell us those four attackers are in custody right now and the charges are expected to be filed later today. Police tell us they think this mentally challenged teen is from the suburbs and was driven into the city in a stolen van. Police say he was held captive for up to 48 hours and then released. He was found wandering in the cold. Here's how the Chicago police superintendent responded to all this. It's sickening. You know, it makes you wonder what would make individuals treat somebody like that. Bill, this morning, a big question is whether this rises to the level of a hate crime. If it does, these attackers face up to 30 years in prison. Certainly, Bill. it's catching fire online and across the country. Uh, what are people saying, Matt? Yeah, major responses online. First, people seem to be outraged that there are people online making jokes about this video, perhaps even cheering on the attackers. And there is also outrage over a Chicago uh, detective who said this might amount to nothing more than just a childhood prank. Take a listen to that. Kids make stupid decisions. I shouldn't call them kids. They're legally adults, but they're young adults and they make stupid decisions. Uh, that police official obviously taking a lot of heat. Many people also tying this to the Black Lives Matter movement, giving its own hashtag BLM kidnapping. One Twitter user writing, BLM is being linked with BL, uh, BLM kidnapping because so many people have experienced violence, vandalism, and racist hatred at the hands of BLM. In response to these types of tweets, the Black Lives Matter Chicago Twitter account wrote back saying, some people are disgusting. You're making jokes. What happened to the teenager is terrible and tragic. However, it has nothing to do with the BLM. Bill, we are following this story. We will be attending the press conference later today where we might learn what these four attackers will be charged with. More to Bill. come on that then. Thanks. Matt Finn leading our coverage there in Chicago.